is going down, my beautiful brothers and sisters in fragrance? It's your favorite yellow fellow when you were tuned in to Smells with Dell. And on this episode, I'm bringing y'all my top 10 niche fragrance list for spring 2020. Now, I got to keep it real. It was hard as I don't know what to come up with this list because I got so many fragrances that could have made the cut, man. But for the sake of this video, I can only bring y'all 10. And I'm going to also say that fragrances uh, 10 through 1 and 1 through 10... I am not ranking them. I love what I get from each and every last one of them, and I think it would be disrespectful to these dope juices to rank one over the other. Now, without further ado, let's get into this juice. Coming in at the number 10 spot from a house that actually one of my favorite ho niche houses out there, Parfum de Marley 2014 release, I am talking about Galloway. Galloway is a fresh citrusy fragrance that is going to get you compliments this opens up with some pepper and citrus notes then in the mid you get some iris and orange blossom then it closes out with some musk and amber to add to the sweetness like i said this is uh this is gonna get you compliments man if you just so happen to be outside and the wind blows brother and a woman catch it she's gonna want your number plain and simple um, very, very easy to wear fragrance, man. If you got a job interview or something you got to go to um, in the warmer months, this is definitely one for you. Um, if you are a person that likes to layer your undergarments or wear something to go to bed with, this is the fragrance for you. Um, this is going to last you about a good six, seven hours. Um, I get about two hours of projection on my skin. Um, this is not a fragrance that I think anyone is going to find off-putting. Like I said, very crisp, fresh, citrusy, easy to wear fragrance, man, for the warmer months. If you have not gotten your nose on this, you need to you need to do so. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Number 10 spot, Parfum de Marley Galloway. Coming in at the number 9 spot, from a house that I love it. I, I'm going to just keep it all the way real. I'm a fanboy of it big time. Um, this house probably got over like 50 something fragrances and I own 50% of them. What I'm talking about is the House of Man Sarah 2011 release, Wild Fruits. Wild Fruits is a dope fragrance. I'm going to tell you right now, if I could compare this to anything, I would compare this to Creed's Silver Mountain Water, except this does not have the inky note that Silver Mountain Water has, and this has way more fruity notes than Silver Mountain Water. So I would call this a fruitier version of Silver Mountain Water. Um, in fact, if you are someone who is in the market and you're looking to purchase Silver Mountain Water and you don't want to pay that price, this is a damn good alternative for you, maybe even better. This one opens up with a blast of citrus fruits that I love. Then in the mid, you get some violet, some uh, peach, some apple, and some black currant. Then in the base, you get some cedar wood and white musk. Very, very, very dope fragrance, man. Gonna get you some compliments. Both men and women can rock this easily. Perfect for the spring and summer months, man. I get about eight hours when I rock this. Another two hours bouncing off my skin. If you have not gotten your nose on this, you need to do so quick, fast, and in a hurry. Number nine spot, Mansara Wild Fruits. Moving along to the number eight spot is a fragrance that I think does not get the love that it deserves. But it's cool because I'm about to love it up right now. From the House of Anishio 2019 release, I am talking about Atomic Rose. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably was expecting um, rehab, but I love rehab. No question about it, but I'm going to be real. I'm tired of hearing about rehab. It's about time this one got the love that it deserves. If you're a person who loves rose or floral or just a floral fresh scent for that matter, this is the fragrance for you, man. This got everything you want. This opens up with some Italian bergamot, some pink pepper. Then in the mid, you get some Bulgarian rose, some Turkish rose, a little bit of Egyptian uh, jasmine. Then in the base, you get some uh, Madagascar vanilla and a little bit of Ambrox. Very, very, very fresh, rosy, floral fragrance. Can be worn easily by both men and women. 
I like this fragrance a lot, man. It's one that's going to get you some compliments. I will say, you want to be easy on the trigger with this one because if you spray too much, you're going to stink. Period. Point blank. But... You only need about three, four sprays with this one. Three, four sprays, man. You are gold. Trust me. Go and get you compliments. This is actually beast mode. This lasts about nine hours on my skin. Bounce off of it for another two and a half, three hours. Very, very, very easy to wear in the warmer months, in my opinion. And it's about time that this one gets the love that it deserves. Again, Atomic Rose. Moving along to the number seven spot from another house that I truly, truly, truly enjoy a lot. What I'm talking about is from the House of Imaginary Authors, a 2017 release. I am talking about St. Julep. St. Julep is a dope fragrance, man. It is sweet and seductive and fresh all in one. This one opens up with some sweet mint, some tangerine. Then you get a little bit of Southern Magnolia, a little bit of bourbon. Then in the base, you get some sugar cube and some crushed ice. Now, that crushed ice note is real interesting. And the reason why I say that is because I don't know what crushed ice would smell like. But this would be the closest interpretation of that. And I say that because... This fragrance just gives it a special crisp, like, smell that I have not gotten out of any fragrance ever. And I have a huge collection. And I've never smelled anything like this one. This one, this one is both sweet and crisp and refreshing all in the same. It's like a burst, like, it's really icy. If I could, it's icy, sweet and icy. There, there you go, sweet and icy. Perfect for the warmer months, especially springtime, man. Um, again, can be worn by both men and women easily. I get about seven hours out of this. Lasts on my skin, another one and a half, two. Dope, dope, dope fragrance, man. Um, this is actually a nice fragrance that is price right. You can pick this one up about 95 bucks. Because, you know, a lot of these fragrances are expensive as I don't know what. But this is actually one that's priced right. And I do think that if you do not have this in your collection, you definitely need to do so. Um, once again, Imaginary Authors, St. Julie. Moving along to the uh, number six spot. We are at Shea and Blue. This is a, a fragrance house that I just got hit to not too long ago. And I'm glad that I did because they got some fire. But I'm talking about... 2016 release black tulip now i was gonna go with uh blood oranges for this one but i'm gonna say that for a rainy day and that's not to say that this is a consolation to that one because this is fire period point blank this is a seductive fragrance once again can be worn by men and women gonna get you a lot of lot of lot of compliments actually in my opinion throughout this whole list this is one of the more versatile fragrances because although i got this on my spring list i do think this could be worn at any time of the year honestly this one opens up with a blast of uh, snowdrop flower and some cyclamen then in the mid you get some black tulip and plum then in the base you get some white chocolate and soft woods in my opinion the white chocolate and the plum carries this baby all the way through this fragrance is both sweet and fresh and it's just dope man like uh, i got it oh my gosh get your nose on this man i'm telling you right now you've not smelled anything like this one man straight up um this one i get about seven seven and a half eight hours give or take bounce off my skin about another two very 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 seductive fragrance man if you rocking this and you are in a close encounter it's done he or she if you're a woman wearing this he's done if you are a man wearing this she's done period point blank you are getting some that night penny dropper in my opinion moving along we are halfway through the list y'all and this next one that I'm about to hit y'all with 
is classic in my opinion. I think this one in the niche world is going to stand the test of time. What I'm talking about is a 2007 release. And I'm talking about from the House of Unwash. I'm talking about Reflection Man. This fragrance is dope. It's going to get you compliments, period, point blank. This one opens up with some rosemary and red pepper, some uh, berries, a little bit of bitter orange leaves. Then you get in the mid some neroli, some oris, some jasmine, some ylang-ylang, or ylang-ylang as I like to call it. Then in the base you get some vetiver and patchouli. When I first smelled this, I was, I was telling my homeboy, I was like, man, I found a, I got a dope fragrance, man. It smelled like John Paul Goudier, Lamar, and Burberry Touch had a baby. And the reason why I say that is because I get some of the sweetness that the sweet DNA that the John Paul Lamar gives you. But then I get the powder, the powdery notes that the Burberry Touch gives you. And I think mixed together, it just makes this one a very, very dope and seductive fragrance. Um... Just like the fragrance before the uh, the black tulip, this one is very versatile. I know I picked it for the spring list, but you can rock this any time of the year, in my opinion. Very easy to wear fragrance. Going to get you compliments. This one lasts about a good eight and a half, nine hours. I get three hours of projection. Like I said, man, very, very dope fragrance, man. Easy to wear. If you got a job interview, if you want to go on a date, whatever it is, man, rock this. Pick this up anytime, any place, anywhere. You are good. Number five spot. I'm watch Reflection Man. Moving along to the number four spot, I got another dope fragrance, and it is from the house of Rana Perfumes. A 2020 release i am talking about coconut nanas i don't know why i said that like that but it just sounded sweet coming off my tongue coconut nanas man but not for real coconut nanas is dope if i had to compare this to something i would say that this smells like a banana laffy taffy period point blank go to the store go get one of them long banana laffy taffies or even a little short one that's what you got here in the fragrance. This fragrance is dope. Gonna get you compliments. I do think that this can be worn by both men and women. This opens up with some coconut and pineapple. Then in the uh, mid, you get some peach and tiari. Then in the base, you get some musk and saffron. This fragrance is dope, man. And this is beast mode. This actually might be one of the more longer lasting fragrances in this list. Due to the simple fact that Rurana... They, you, their oil content is like 65, 70%. So do not spray this on your clothes because if you do, whatever it is you spray it on is ruined. Like I sprayed this on my hand. My hand was shiny for like two and a half hours. I am not joking. And it lasts. I mean, this is a long lasting fragrance. I'm talking about 10 to 12 hours long. Um, bounce off your skin for like three hours. You do not need a lot of this. I'm telling you, like you do not need a lot. Seriously, about three sprays of this, you good. This is some potent juice, and it's gonna get you some compliments out the you know what. I'm telling you. I'm just moving along. Just if you ain't got your nose on this, you need to. Coconut nanas from the house of Rurana perfumes. Moving along to the number three spot is a fragrance that I'm going to keep it all the way real. I ain't like it at first. And I think the reason is, is because on the day that I smelled it, I smelled too many things. But what I'm talking about is the 2014 release from the House of Creed. And I am talking about Vetiver Geranium. This fragrance is dope. Like, this fragrance is dope, period. Like, this is a very, very, very fresh. I'm going to just say, this is like one of the best vetiver-based fragrances on the market, hands down. Like, this one opens up with some Granny Smith apple. You get some bergamot, some lemon. Then in the mid, you get some geranium cinnamon, which I do not get in this at all. You get some rose. 
Then in the base you get some patchouli, some cedar wood, some musk, and amber. This is actually listed as a women's fragrance, but a man, if you you can pull a man can pull this off easily. I'm doing it. I'm telling you, this is actually one. I think I'm a double up one. That's how much I like this. I really, really enjoy this fragrance, man. This fragrance lasts about a good nine and a half, ten hours. Get another two hours of projection. This is definitely one that you going to get compliments, man. Like, straight up. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I said, I think the first time I smelled this, it was because I smelled too many fragrances on that particular day. And I probably should have gotten some coffee bean. But if you ask me, this is probably one of the best fragrances that Creed has released. In my opinion, one of the very best vetiver fragrances on the market, hands down. Number three spot, Creed vetiver geranium coming in to the number two spot Ooh we it's fitting we down to it number two spot comes from the house of nishan 2014 release i am talking about amber calabria i just love that name that you know what if we was ranking these fragrances by by name Coconut Nanas would probably be number one, but then this one will be number two. I love, I just love the way that, I, I love that name, period. This fragrance is a amber-based fragrance, but generally when you think of amber, you think of something that you're going to rock in the colder months. This is not what it says it is. This is actually one that you want to rock around this time of the year. This one opens up, you get some bergamot, some uh, galbanum, and then in the mid, you get some coriander, some jasmine, then in the base, you get some sweet amber, some musk, and vanilla. This is like an amber and vanilla, like musky, fresh, soft fragrance. And generally, them are fragrances that hit you in the mouth. And something that you would rock when it's cooler. This is the total opposite. And I am really surprised at that. This is one that both men and women can wear. Going to get you a lot of compliments. This is another one that I say. If you are in a close encounter. The opposite sex is done. They are going to give you whatever it is you want. I'm telling you. This is beast mode. This is a, a perfume extract I believe. Yeah, I do believe this is a parfum extract, if, if not my bad. But no, this is an extract, just like I thought. This is a amber, vanilla, musky bomb, but subtle, all in the same. I know, that's crazy. Lasts you about 10 hours, bounce off your skin for three. Easy to wear. Um, can also be worn at any time of the year, in my opinion. But perfect for the warmer months. Dope fragrance, man. Get your nose on this from the house of Nishane, Amber Calabria. Now, number one. And I could have picked, like I said, man, I could have picked a lot of fragrances, man. But this one, I, I do enjoy this one. This was one of my favorites from this company. What I'm talking about is the House of Bond number 9, 2017 release number one spot. Dubai Gold. Let's argue. Let's argue. If you don't, if you don't think that this should be number one on some list, let's argue. I, I dare you. This fragrance is dope, man. Like straight up. It's actually my second fra uh, favorite fragrance from the House of Bomb. My favorite would be Lafayette Street because that's a penny dropper. We'll talk about that on another day. But this is dope, man. This is fresh, is powdery, and I love uh, powdery uh, smelling scents, man. Like this opens up with some brandy, some saffron, some bitter orange. Then in the mid, you get some ginger, some cedar wood, some kayak wood. Then it closes out in the base with some amber, some sandalwood, some musk, and patchouli. Very, very, very nice fragrance, man. You get like nine hours out of this. Bounce off your skin for another two. Going to get you mad compliments. Like, oh my God. Like, 
it smelled like something Middle Eastern. Like I, I really feel like when I wear this, I'm like some Arabian cat in Dubai, if that's the right term or whatever. This is just dope, man. Like I feel like a king when I rock this. Like straight up, like it ain't nothing that nobody can tell me. Like this, this smells so damn good. If you say that it stink, you're lying. Like straight up. One of the best releases from the House of Bond, in my personal opinion. I do not think they have too many in their line that is better than this. Long lasting, panty dropper, going to get you mad compliments, done. Number one spot for spring 2020. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Let me know what y'all rocking uh, for the spring month, for the spring 2020 months. Um, again, I appreciate y'all. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm coming. I'm going to keep coming with this content, man. I appreciate y'all. Love, peace, and hair grease. One.